As the ripple effects from the mass shootings in El Paso and Dayton played out, President Trump's daughter Ivanka took time to post her own thoughts on gun, gun violence, especially in the city of Chicago. She wrote on Twitter, quote, with seven dead and 52 wounded near a playground in the Windy City and little national outrage or media coverage, we mustn't become numb to the violence faced by inner city communities every day. Well, to say the least, those remarks did not sit very well with the mayor of Chicago, Lori Lightfoot. She called the tweets misleading at a press conference and said it wasn't a playground and it wasn't one single incident, as the tweet uh, implied. I spoke with Mayor Lightfoot earlier. Mayor, when you saw Ivanka Trump's tweet fr from a, a family which is constantly attacking the news media as factually incorrect or, or fake, the amount of inaccuracies in her one tweet, it, it, it was kind of, it was certainly surprising uh, how inaccurate it was. I'm wondering what exactly it was that you took issue with. Well, first and foremost, I think if you really want to be helpful, and particularly given the platform that you're in, you actually pick up the phone and you call and you talk to us about what actually happened so we could have given her a full rundown of what the facts were and then we have a, a communication about what is the best path forward. I understand that she thought she was being helpful but her failure or anybody on her team to just pick up the phone and communicate with us uh, was really disappointing. It, it made it sound as if all of this occurred in one incident in one area in a, in a playground. And look, don't get me wrong, we had a tough weekend. And, but conflating all of that and getting the facts wrong and getting saying playground, um, which it wasn't near a playground, and suggesting that children were at risk was dangerous and, and unhelpful. Uh, it does seem like she is in some way making a comparison between the mass shootings that happened last weekend and gun violence that, that takes place in, in Chicago. I'm wondering, do you see any equivalence between those? Look, the circumstances of each of these are tragic. That is absolutely a common theme that runs through them. And I don't want people to lose sight about the fact that we are um, experiencing um, shootings at a pace that no one um, finds acceptable. But conflating the hateful rhetoric that I think motivated, sounds like motivated the shooter in El Paso. And we still don't really know what the motivation of the shooter was um, in Dayton. To, to what we're experiencing, I think, really um, does a disservice to the victims, um, the cities that are reeling, uh, the families that are um, suffering from gun violence. They're not an apples-to-apples -apples comparison. I know you met with Ivanka Trump for your inauguration mm -hmm. to talk about some of the challenges facing uh, Chicago and some of the uh, short-term and long-term uh, things that, that might be done. Has she reached mm -hmm. out to you at all since then? We have had some contact at the staff level, but she and I hadn't spoken since um, that meeting in, in Washington. Um, but it, it doesn't matter. If you want to talk about a city, particularly one as high profile as Chicago, and let's face it, we have been the punching bag uh, for the president. The best thing to do, the best thing to do is reach out, have honest dialogue, and then try to form a partnership about how we can address these challenges together. It's, you don't govern by tweet. The, the, as you said, the, you, you said the president is using, has used Chicago as a punching bag. Certainly he's also taken aim at you know, New York City, uh, most mm -hmm. recently obviously uh, Baltimore. Do you think the president understands uh, kind of the, the, the long-term uh, structural things which, which might help a city like Chicago or, or Baltimore? Look, I think that this is, the president's rhetoric is all part of uh, a perpetual re-election strategy where he demonizes um, and dismisses cities where he's not going to get a substantial vote. Let's face it, the cities that he's picked are Democratic strongholds. He's not going to get votes here of any magnitude. So it's easy for him, given his, you know, uh, diminishing base, to demonize us and the challenges that we face in cities and reduce us to a punchline rather than looking at the greatness that's actually happening in each of these cities. Yes, we have our challenges, but we are a great city and I'm never going to let anybody, including a president, diminish the greatness of Chicago.